Hi everyone, um, my name is William Dyer, and not only am I the editor of Democracy Defined, which isn't that much to shout about as yet, because there's not that much stuff, stuff on it. It's basically an educational video where we try and answer some of the more complicated questions about politics and to find some of the more complicated words that you may hear on the radio and the press. Today, the new mission, starting up the new v block it's mainly going to be about politics, because I live, breathe, smell, do stuff with it. That really doesn't sound right, I apologise. Um, I've been doing stuff like that for years, that still doesn't uh, So basically, uh, I know politics may sound really dull, but it's not. It genuinely isn't. It's so exciting and it's so integral to everything that we do and it's not just big guys in suits playing around as it sometimes may seem. Um, but some bits are actually really cool and you get to make so many brilliant friends along the way. Uh, so, it, most, well, I'd, I'd say but I'd say all of it would be about politics. Some of it will be about uh, just kind of like my experiences. So just normally be but Okay, so this is the first episode, and it's how I got involved into politics. It's a question a lot of people kind of ask me, um, and here's an answer. Um, I I started to get interested in politics when I was about 15, 16. Uh, I had a really great tutor at my secondary school um, who really encouraged me to look into politics, you know, look at the news, uh, keep active. Uh, kind of try and start to get active in it. So the 2000 election came around and like an ordinary 16 year old I got all of the manifestos out and read them through. Um, yeah, like a normal 16 year old. Um, so I then decided that I, I wanted to join the Liberal Democrats. And actually not only did I want to join the Liberal Democrats, I wanted to vote for them because my mum actually let me have her vote which was brilliant. So I joined up the Liberal Democrats because uh, I felt that they were the only ones that stuck up for human rights and plus they really actually cared about the individual. So I mean I'm also, as well as being a Liberal Democrat, I'm also a Christian um, but I also, uh, and I also believe in gay marriage. Um, the reason why I believe in that is because I believe that everyone should have the choice to do what, do what they love. You know, it's not for me to stop somebody from loving someone else. It's not me to stop them getting married. Um, I just believe that everyone should have the right to their own opinions. Uh, and that's one of the things about freedom of speech, really. Sometimes we have to hear things that we don't want to hear. You know, it's all very well having this very airy-fairy view of freedom of speech, but if we don't actually um, kind of use it in that sense, then we don't actually kind of remember what what it's about, then we kind of block our ears off to things that we don't really want to hear, which, you know, is quite devastating really. You know, we need to kind of hear things sometimes that we don't want to hear so that we can learn from them. So since then, uh, I have done so many things with Lib Dems. I mean, at the last autumn conference, I spoke up on stage, which was very scary. Um, and also, uh, <laughs> and also, I've become the chief policy officer for Liberal Youth, the youth with the Liberal Democrats, which I mean I'll come to later. Also, kind of getting involved in local politics as well. You know, seeing what the issues are and seeing how actually government policy affects on our local level as well, um, and how the cuts are really affecting as well. Because I see examples of how cuts are affecting and how it can have a detrimental effect but also third parties as well coming in and sometimes saving the day and making a real difference so I mean that's all of really gonna what I'm going to talk about I've had some amazing experiences well, you don't know that but I know that because um, I'm just that awesome um, and I hope you enjoy the series to come watch out this is only just the beginning. I can't believe I just said that. That's only just the beginning. Wow. Um, okay, so it's goodbye. Bon voyage. Au revoir. Au revoir. Whatever more there is. Goodbye.